All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna be looking at attitudes, okay? Um, the one thing that I can tell you, and you're gonna learn this phrase, you're gonna say this phrase, attitude is everything, okay? Say it. Attitude is everything. Attitude is everything, okay? When I say that, what do I mean by attitude is everything? I mean that attitude is the way you view something, the way you see something, the way you respond to something, the way you act. Your ad it's not an attitude where it's like, oh, she's got an attitude, or he just got an attitude right now. Normally, when we think about attitude, we think about having a negative attitude. That kid has an attitude, you know. I don't know what's wrong or why he's acting like that. Or Coach Harris always has an attitude. She's always mad, okay? Attitude is not about just the way you carry yourself when you're saying you get upset about something. Attitude is how you view something, how you respond to something, how you typically carry yourself, okay? Your attitude toward life. Attitude really is everything, and we're gonna learn about that, okay? So, we're gonna look at this. Um, we have a video that's gonna go along with this today, and I'm just gonna kinda go through um, the general questions and all that kind of stuff. We've already done our good things, and this is just kind of written out. We're gonna watch a video, and it's pretty much kind of more like an athlete's video. Um, that refers to, uh, to an athlete in the story. You gotta kind of listen to the story. The guy that's telling the story, it's kind of hard to hear him. You gotta kind of listen really close, but just pay attention to it. So, a couple things. It says, so how do we create a positive attitude, okay? Um, this is, let's start with some practical tips, okay? The first thing, right here, it says, can y'all read that? Is it too small? No, I can read it. Okay. All right, I'll try to see if I can. Let me see, let me make it bigger. There we go. I need to make the little thing where I can scroll it on my screen. Okay. So, how do, how do we create a positive attitude? Okay? Hang out with like-minded, positive people. Okay? You want to hang out with people that I said yesterday, people that, that have a drive, that have a passion to do something in life. Okay? They're not trying to get in trouble. They're not trying to go do stuff they're not supposed to do. They're looking to move forward. Okay? They're looking to be successful in school their sports, their band, athletics, their outside activities, whatever they, they're, they're doing in their current lifetime, okay? You're looking to do the right thing in life. And you're, 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 you think about when you say the glass is half what? Empty. Half empty or half what? Full. Or half full. You look at it from those perspectives. A person with a positive attitude looks at the glass half full, okay? You, all, you see the brighter, the brighter side of life. Okay, even, even in the situation that we're in right now, we're just like, oh, I'm so sick of wearing a mask and this, that, and the other, and coronavirus, you know. And you can have a negative attitude toward her. You can just have that, that point of view where, you know what, we're going to get through this. You know, it's about being pessimistic or optimistic. Y'all know the difference between the two? Can somebody tell me what a pessimistic person is? Yes. Yes. Ex Exactly. A pessimistic person is somebody that is always negative. Uh, I'm not going to pass this. I'm not good at this. Uh, I mean, I see it, but it's not very good. A pessimistic person, you can, it can, everything can be beautiful, but they'll find that one negative thing. And they'll think about the negative thing and forget about all the good things that are going around it. A pessimistic person is usually a person that sees the glass half empty. Okay? It's always negative and they bring other people down. It can be everything can be going good. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's, it's just not gonna work today. I don't even know why we're doing this. This is stupid. You know, I mean, why are you talking about attitude? Who cares about attitude? You're not gonna change my attitude. It's always the negative side of it, okay? A pessimistic person, on the other hand, is what? Positive. Somebody. Positive. Huh? Positive. A positive person. They look at the glass, half full. It means, hey, you know, I know it's right here, but we still got this much left to go. Okay, so they look at the positive side of it. Okay, the good things that can come out of it. It may, it could be raining, you know, pouring down rain, but yeah, oh yeah, well at least the grass is getting watered today. You know, they find the good things in the negative things. Okay, so a pessimistic person sees the good side of life, the positive side of life, and so that's how we look at the difference between pessimistic and optimistic. A person with a good attitude, a positive attitude, is a pessimistic person. Okay. So, right here, learn from successful people, okay? People that you can look up to. Those are some of the things I asked you in the very beginning. And let me push pause right there on myself. If I talk too fast, remind me. 
just say, hey, so Terrence, you're going too fast. You need to repeat that or whatever. Sometimes I get on a roll and I just go. Okay, so if I'm going too fast, I'm talking too fast, and I try to remind myself to slow down, but I'm I'm a fast talker, so if I go too fast, just remind me. If you didn't catch it, raise your hand, let me know. Okay, so learn from successful people. Have role models, people that set examples, okay, in front of you, that you see, hey, man, I like how this person does this. I like following this person. I like watching this person, okay? Don't focus on the negatives. That's the what kind of person? Negative. The, yeah, that's the pessimistic person, okay? Move, no, new word, we'll say them over and over again, okay? Set high standards for yourself, okay? Believe in yourself, okay? Believe in yourself, that's the one thing that we have to convince yourself that you are good enough, you can do things, okay? Um, so, set high standards for yourself, have positive self-talk. That is one of the most important things in life, okay? How do you talk to you? What are you saying to yourself every day? What do you think about when you look in the mirror, when you get up and you look in the mirror at yourself, okay? Do you like yourself, okay? Do you like what you see, okay? What are you saying to you? We're gonna talk, we're gonna do our mirror self-talk, we're gonna do all those activities in here. So, positive self-talk. Yeah, you know what, Coach Harris, you're gonna have a great day today. Mm, yeah, you know what? You're gonna have a successful day, you know? Today is a good day. I'm gonna enjoy myself today. I'm gonna be a good teacher today. I'm gonna be a good coach today. You know, regardless of what comes my way, you know, I'm gonna look at it on the positive side. What are you saying to you every day? Or you get up, oh God, not another day of school. I don't wanna go, I just don't feel like going. It's, it's not gonna be good, okay? You know, I'm, I'm not good at it anyway. I don't even know why I'm trying this, you know? Or somebody gives you a compliment and you're like, no, not really, you know? If somebody gives you a compliment, Thank you, I appreciate that. Accept it, receive it, be able to receive compliments, okay? Don't, don't tear yourself down. Set high standards for yourself, have positive self-talk. That means you're talking to you, you're saying what you can do, even when you don't see it. It may not be a reality at the time, but your words are what? Strong. Your words are strong and your words are powerful. What you say to yourself is normally eventually what comes to pass. Words that come out are very powerful. You gotta know that, okay? Have positive self-talk. Look at your negative as learning experiences. So when something is negative, it doesn't go your way, it doesn't feel right, you know, this didn't happen the way you thought it was gonna happen. Learn from it and figure out why it went that way. Why didn't this happen when I expected this to happen, okay? And then learn from the mistake, learn from the negative aspects, okay? Change the things you can, okay? If there's something that you can change, change it, make it better. And let go of the things that you have no control over. We can't, told, we can't control the world. You can't control your parents. You can't control coronavirus. You know, there's some things you don't have any control over. But the things that have to do with you in life that you can control, okay? You can control your attitude. You can control the way you see things. You can control what you do in the classroom. You can control how much you read, how much you learn. You really can't control those things. I am a good learner. I am able to learn. I am able to do better. You begin to speak those I am's over yourself. Okay, well, we're gonna make our own I am list in here. Okay, change what you can. And the things you don't have any control over, don't worry about it. Somebody else takes care of that stuff, okay? So let's continue. This is where we're in our textbook. It says, remember, it's not your IQ, it's your what? Attitude. It's your attitude, but an attitude, it's your I can. I can do this, I can be successful, I can, okay? Your I can, okay? So it's not your IQ, it's your I can. I think that's in our textbook that we have to fill in. So it's not though, it's your, so fill that in your textbook, okay? It's not your IQ, it's your I can. That's on page six. So if you guys are gonna be at home doing this, page six, filling in I can, okay? Leaders do, do W-I-T way, okay? Leaders do the W-I-T way. W-I-T stands for what, anybody know? What does W-I-T stand for? Huh? It's what? on the screen. Well, it's a little cut off there. What it takes. Whatever. Whatever. There it is. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Oh, just pause. All right, I'm pausing. Phone is ringing. Okay, so W-I-T-4 says, remember, it's not your IQ, okay? 
It's your I can, okay? Leaders do whatever it takes, W-I-T, whatever it takes. You gotta fill that in your book. As we said, leaders know the difference between doing very well and truly excelling, okay? So, a lot of times that we call the successful people in life, they're the ones that go above and what? Beyond. Beyond. They do what they do the extra. Okay. A lot of times it's like that five percent range of people that have their own businesses that that make it to what the NBA and all the other things. Those ones that really go above and beyond. They do that extra five percent. It's a small window in life. Okay. But it starts now with the mindset that you have right now to do not just the ordinary, but to do the extraordinary or the extraordinary. Okay. We all have that innate ability in us to do great things, okay? But it's your mindset, it's your attitude toward life, it's your attitude, the way you see things, how you think, okay? There's a key word that says change the way you think will change the way you live, okay? And we'll be writing those things down. You can put a little note in your book. Change the way you think can change the way you live. And really it's changing your attitude, changing your attitude toward life, okay? having a whatever it takes. What's it gonna take me to get better? What's it gonna take me to be successful? What's it gonna take me to excel past the person that I'm competing with? What is it gonna take? Well, the another thing we know it's gonna take is work, right? It's not gonna come for free, it's not gonna come easy. If you want something in life and you wanna be better at it, you've gotta put in the work, which is gonna go to those five W's I'm gonna teach you about, okay? So, let's look at this, it says, but what about a bad attitude? Can you see a bad attitude in someone? Have y'all ever seen anybody got a bad attitude? Just negative all the time, you know, bring the whole team down. Yeah, you have those people. Sure you can. Remember, the way you sit, the way you wear your clothes, your facial expressions, your tone of voice, the way you walk, and your words, okay, all convey something about your attitude. Okay, if you walk with your head down all the time, you're just kind of droopy, that's talking about your attitude. If you, if you walk confident, you walk with your head up, your chest lifted, you know, you show up and you're ready to go every day, that's your attitude. You know, you're like, come on coach, we ready. You know, how, how do you show up on the field? How do you show up on the volleyball court? You know, how do you show up on the track? Do you show up dragging and you just, you know, I'm sorry, going to today, man, you know. No, when you get out there, when you step out for whatever you're doing, getting ready to play that instrument, you know, um, year, 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 whatever it is you do, you gotta step up with the right attitude toward it, okay? And it makes a big, big difference. Big difference, okay? Changes the atmosphere, okay? So it's been my experience that most people with an attitude are hiding things. They're talking about that negative side. Are, hide, are hiding things. Woo, I lost my spot. Where'd it go? Yeah, where is it? Are hiding things about themselves that they're insecure about, okay? When you're not confident, when you're a little bit insecure about things, you, you don't stand up, you know, you don't show, you hide them, okay? An insecurity is a person that, you um, you don't like to make eye contact sometimes, you put your head down, you know, you're not one that's gonna volunteer, hey coach, I'll do it, you know? When you have different insecurities about yourself, you don't have that confidence, okay? You're uncomfortable about things, I don't know if I wanna do it first, you won't get in line first, you're not gonna step up and say, I'm ready, you know, because you're not what? You don't have that self-confidence, yes, okay? And those are things we want to learn about. We want to learn about who we are. We want to learn about ourselves, okay? Not a bad thing, but it's just something that we can get better at. We can improve, okay? It's essential that anyone calling him or herself a leader has a positive attitude, okay? And having a positive attitude is never a problem, okay? It's when our attitude becomes negative that we hinder ourselves and we hinder our leadership. So the question is, how do we change our attitude? How do, how do we change a, a negative attitude? Anybody know? You change your mindset. You change your mindset, okay? Well, what in the world? We're talking about well, how do we change a mindset, okay? How do we change an attitude? How do we change a mindset? Okay, those are all questions that we have to answer, okay? Moving right along. All right, so. It says there are two steps involved in changing a negative or a bad attitude, okay? The first thing, it says, the first thing you have to do, you have to identify the issue, okay? You gotta identify the problem. What's the problem? What is causing me to think the way I think, to act the way I act, to always be negative all the time, to be pessimistic? What is it, what is it in me that causes me to think the way I think? Did it come from how I was raised? Does it come from something that's happening at home that nobody else knows about? What is it that makes me negative? 
okay? You gotta identify the problem first, okay? You have to realize that your attitude really does stink, okay? I mean, it's, a, it's the truth. Sometimes your attitude does stink, you know? Maybe not all the time, sometimes, sometimes, okay? That's something which is hard for all of us to recognize at first, but it becomes easier with practice, okay? Once you realize you have a poor attitude, you can begin working on it to change it, okay? Number two, since attitudes come from where? Your mind. Your mind, they come from thoughts, okay? The second thing we have to do is change the way we think. Change the way we think. I just said it a moment ago, change the way you think, think and change the way you live, okay? Changes your attitude toward life. We can do this through a process known as thought replacement. Okay, if I realize that I'm thinking a negative thought toward a person, I can replace that thought with something that is more positive. When, how many of you have thought negative about yourself? Okay, you hear negative talk about yourself. You hear things in your mind and, and you don't do anything about it, okay? You hear negativity. You know, you hear that you're not good at something or maybe I'm this or maybe I'm not, I'm just not gonna ever do this or maybe I'm not gonna go to college or maybe I'm not gonna be successful in high school. All the different things you can think about yourself. Maybe I'm not, you know, I'm not pretty or I'm not strong or I'm not bold, I'm not confident. The I'm not about yourself, you know, or, or you beat yourself up and you just say negative things about you. The moment you hear a negative thing in your mind, you gotta, you have to answer it. You gotta talk back to it, you know? Um, I could have said when I was with basketball, I mean, I just knew I wasn't good at it, you know? So it is what I could have, you know, got to the point where I learned it really well. So yeah, you know, um, our principal, I, I wanna stay in basketball, I really wanna do this. But it just wasn't my sport. But you know, I had times as a young person where I wasn't confident, okay? I had times where I wasn't the person that would get up in front of a class and teach or, or, or talk like I'm doing right now. It took years for me to build my confidence. I did that in the military. Because I didn't have a choice and they're, they're gonna make you do it or you know, you're gonna get out, so. But I was not a very confident teenager growing up. You know, I was, I was kind of shy, um, really reserved. And I had a lot of negative self-talk. I didn't think I was, you know, the pretty one, the cute one all the time. You know, I didn't think that I was as athletic as some of the other people. A lot of different things I had. You know, I had a lot of other things going on in life, you know. So no one taught me that I could do this. No one taught me that I was valuable. No one taught me that, yes, you can be good at this. No one taught me that, yes, you can do this. I didn't have all the positive words being spoken to me, you know. So I just, you know, I decided when I was 17, you know, some of my, one of my friends like, hey, let's join the Army. I didn't even really know about it. So long story short, Coach Harris at 17 years old went and raised my right hand and got stuck in the military. And that's a long other story about, about how that went. But I was not a confident person, but I learned how to build my confidence as life went on, okay? So we're talking about thought replacement, okay? When you take that negative thought and you replace it with something positive, what time do we get out of here? 21. 21, okay. Okay, let me finish this last one, then we'll have to wrap it up. We're okay. not saying 25, but 20-something, right? Yeah. yeah, we'll be okay. I'll, I'll move here, start here, and then moving around as well. So there is a counseling theorist um, named Albert Ellis, who developed a therapeutic model called the RET, or Rational Emotive Theory. Okay, this is when we get into science, okay? Basically, she said that events, events cause thoughts, and thoughts cause feelings, and that's true. When something happens, you feel some kind of way about it, right? Whether it's good or bad. Events cause thoughts. Thoughts create feelings, okay? Are you feeling ugly? You might be thinking, I'm ugly, okay? Are you feeling stupid? Then you're probably thinking, man, I'm an idiot. I'm not that smart, you know? Are you feeling intelligent? Then you're more likely to be thinking, yeah, I got it going on, you know? How many of you like have those times where, yeah, you know, you got it going on, you feel good about you? Anybody have those moments? Yeah, you're supposed to. You're supposed to, it's a good thing. How many of you ever feel like, you know, I'm just not that smart, I'm just not that good at this? Anybody ever feel that way? We can be honest. I've been there before. I feel that way sometimes when I'm, when I'm trying to learn something and it's hard for me, and, it, and I'll tell you a little bit more of my background as we go along, um, so that you can understand the things that I've been through as a process for learning. But yeah, I've had times even now as an older person, you know, where I'm trying to learn something, like, man, this is really hard. But I have, I have to remind myself that I am capable. Yes, I can do this, okay? Yes, it might be hard and things are gonna be hard in life, but you have to make up your mind that you can do it regardless of how hard it is, okay? I'm not saying you can climb a mountain, you know, like get out there and just climb Mount Everest, you know, that's, that's what a 
wow, people, but anyway. But when things are difficult as teenagers, you know, things that you want to do, you still have the capability on the inside of you of doing it, okay? So I'm going to push pause right there. I don't think we're going to get to the, the video, so we'll have to start that video on Monday. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we did get to the launch. We got a little bit more to go. So we'll get into the Empower on Monday. Then we'll get into the actual video that goes along with it. So I think the guys, you'll probably appreciate it more than the girls, but it's still a good, um, what is it called, motivational video that we're going to watch. All right? So I hope you learned a little bit of something today. Um, the key word, the W W I T stands for what? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Okay? Can we all be successful? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Change the way you think. You will change the way you live. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Good. All right. I'll see y'all on Monday.